Um, why do you think this game started to get away from you guys in the, the first quarter? Um, yeah, that was defensively. We're not playing for each other. We're not in the rotation. We're not respecting what we're supposed to do. So that was it. And you got a pretty big test guard in Luka Doncic tonight. Uh, what was it like going up against him? Uh, I, like, I always love this game. Uh, playing against a great player like that is always, you know, good. Uh, learning a lot of things and uh, yeah, hope uh, I'll do better playing in the next game against it. it you were able to get a, a few stops against him. Does that build your confidence as a defensive player? Yeah, of course, of course. Every time I see a superstar on me, I'm trying to like, get a stop and uh, yeah, it helps me a lot. Offensively, how do you feel like your game is coming along? It feels like every game we see you do something a little more off the dribble or creating for teammates, something like that. How are you feeling comfort-wise? Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, you know, I know the plays and everything. I'm trying to just figure out what what I can do to help the team to get some buckets or help myself to get some, some yeah, yeah, yeah. baskets. And, uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Well, not to pick any name specifically, but what do you think about your teammate Jordan Poole? <laughs> wow. He's a great player, he's a great guy. Not a lot I can say. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, he's going to get a big head if I say a lot. <laughs> um, Bilal, I know that you are a rookie right now and you're probably the youngest person in the locker room, but what are some of the things that maybe you're saying to your teammates to bring that teamwork back together? Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, uh, change the stuff that I see on the court. Uh, whenever I see that somebody should have done the rotation and uh, he did not do it, so, uh, I'm saying to him, like, we got to be more focused, uh, just just to stay with, the, with what we're supposed to do. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Question for you, Jordan. In these uh, almost first month of the season, how would you just evaluate your fit in the offense, shot, shot selection, uh, et cetera, et cetera? Um, shot selection has been good. I feel um, confident finding the shot selection. Still figuring out a lot of the rotations, chemistry, um, what plays you want to get into, um, how to get into our flow. So uh, just a couple of schematical things that we're just trying to figure out with the guys out on the court. Um, in terms of shots, shots are fine. They're just going to fall this season. Jordan, what would you say is the biggest adjustment of being the focal point of opponents' scouting reports? Um, I mean, it's not anything new. Um, I was, I was getting the second best, if not best, defender um, the last two years previously. Uh, just figuring out where guys on my team um, want the ball, how they can be effective. Um, just trying to figure out how to play the right way figure out how to consistently over and over and over, just make the right play. Um, kind of just build the foundation. Um, and that's pretty much it. You obviously moved your locker next to Bilal's. Just what kind of feedback are you trying to give him, you know, game in and game out? Yeah, um, I mean, he's extremely talented. Uh, he's a hard worker and he's willing to learn and he's willing to work. Um, so just trying to give him any insight, any advice that, that I can, if he has any questions. Um, mentioning some things that he may not see. Right, he's a rookie, he's really early. Um, and there's a lot of stuff he's kind of being thrown at him. He's coming from um, playing professionally, then going right to the pre draft process, from pre draft right to summer league, from summer league right to this season. So it's moving really fast. Um, I'm just here to slow it down a little bit for him, you know, if he ever needs help, if he has any questions. But um, he's doing a tremendous job. Um, locked in, he's focused. Um, he's, he's guarding guys like Luca night in and night out, right? So um, I kind of look at that as delayed gratification. Um, he's getting the challenges now, um, but later on down the line, it'll be uh, extremely beneficial. Jordan, kind of as uh, we've had conversations about, but you've been a guy your whole career who's received attention, been subject to memes and all that stuff. Does it feel different now that you're kind of number one on team, that you're the, the leader in the locker room, but the attention you've been getting, things like that? I feel like I know the answer, but... In, in terms of who or in terms of off the court? Off the court. Off the court, internet, online stuff. I know you. I know you don't watch it, but I'm yeah. wondering if it's different. Um, no, it's not. It's not different. 
Um, but it's 2023, so I mean, what do you mean? it's social media, right? There's just not much we can do other than just go out there, play our game, be who we are. I mean, you can't get caught up in stuff like that, right? Like there'll, there'll always be something, um, somebody will find something to come up with, right? Um, narratives can be misconstrued. Um, I mean, but as long as the people who are close to you, the people who know you, the people that you spend your time with, know who you are as a person, coaches, players, um, essentially that's all that matters. Jordan, did you have a conversation with coaches about being locked in and time out huddles? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? What do you, what do you <laughs> tell me more? Well, there's a video of you um, not being uh, within the timeout discussion yeah. until it's too late. Yeah, I saw it, and I was looking like, how is somebody supposed to give that commentary from the middle of the stands? Right. I mean, I mean, obviously, I can't do anything about it. Um, sometimes I sit down, sometimes I don't. Coaches go, they do their huddle earlier on, kind of figure out what they want to do. Um, it's such a long time also. like It's a two-minute timeout. The coach is probably only talking for 35 seconds or so. I mean, but I, I saw the play. I was talking on the play. I went back just to ask the question, just to make sure. Um, just continue to be vocal, communicate with my teammates. Um, it's a very normal timeout, honestly. It wasn't anything that was different. Um, and I'm sure there will be a lot more timeouts <laughs> just throughout the course of the season. Um, but I, I wouldn't. Me personally, I'm not even really worried about it. To that point, Wes said that you know you're always in the gym working on your shot. Clearly, you are a serious player. When there's a discussion about you maybe not being locked in, you not being serious, does that is that an affront to your um, your character, your reputation? Um, see, that goes back to like who's saying it, right? Like the people who are close to me, the people who are in the gym, the coach, if the head coach told you that, why are we listening to anybody else? It's kind of how I look at it. I'm locked in, work on your game, ask questions, right? It's just like I said, this kind of goes back to being, um, just the era that we're in, like just the, the time of society that we're in right now. Um, it's just something that you kind of deal with. We, I grew up in it personally, just having social media my entire life. And, um, I take it very seriously. All the time, night in, night out, think about the game when you go home, ask questions, um, watch film. Um, luckily, those aren't the people that are, in, are important, you know. The people that are important know how serious this is, how serious we take this, and that's why they're in the locker room. That's why they're making decisions. Um, that's pretty much all it is. Thanks, Jordan. Jordan. Oh, real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What's the... With where you guys are right now, what's the toughest thing for this team going forward? In other words, you know, what's the biggest challenge for you guys? Um, I think we are seeing it for the first time. Right? I think if you go back to a couple games ago, the Brooklyn game, the Raptor game, um, it showed what type of team we can be right? when we're playing the way we're supposed to play. Um, but we had a lot of young guys. We had a lot of guys who were seeing late game actions for the first time, uh, seeing new roles, seeing new minutes. Um, so just seeing it, right? Just seeing it, learning from it, um, finding ways to go back to the drawing board, seeing what we can fix, what we can learn. It's very early, very long season, 82 game season. Um, what, we're 11 games in right now. So just continuing to learn, delay gratification, right? We're not working um just for the next game or the game after that we're working for games in january games in february just down the course and it's a rhythm game the league is all about rhythm the league is all about patterns so once we start to figure those out once we start to find those uh, everything else will take care of itself